Tonight we're visiting some stores and we're at the Fish Eagle in Peter Maritzburg. Um, very known and reputable fly fishing shop and we're gonna go visit Jan today. We're visiting the Fish Eagle in Peter Maritzburg, a really nice store, authentic fly fishing as well, um, to come and visit. A must come. And I'm standing here with Jan Korobel, who is an absolute expert on the fly fishing side for many years. But Jan, what I want to ask you is where did it start? What provoked the fly fishing side on you? Well, I'm a Cape Town boy, a boy originally, and uh, when I came up to Natal in 96, so about 21 years ago. I discovered that every man and his dog and everybody in between, they all fly fish here. So I thought I'd best, uh, best uh, give it a try as well. And fly fishing caught you as well? Well, it caught me. Initially, initially I wasn't interested in it, in it at all. There's a, there's a classic saying, saying that goes, uh, there's a very fine line between fishing and standing on the shore looking like it's an idiot angling. waving yeah. a stick, <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is what uh, fly fishing is perceived to be. So yeah, so it took, me, it took me a bit of a while standing on the shore looking like an idiot waving a stick. But yeah, once the bug bit, the bug bit. And of fly fishing, what, what is the, the part that really excites you now at this stage of the game after so many years? Well, I think everything really, really. I am a little bit OCD, my friends will tell you that. And I'm a Virgo, so everything needs to be nice, nice blocked and categorized. And I think the preciseness of the game, the game actually, your tackle, your setup, the presentation, the casting, the fly tying. I mean, I'm a mad keen fly tire as well, so everything is neat and precise, your, your, your fly, fly um, building a fly from, from like all the materials, yeah, just the whole facet, everything, everything really just fascinates me. And favorite fly, do you have something like that? Um, no, no, basically I love them all, I love all flies, I tie all sorts of flies, I tie everything from salt, from salt water, from very big bullfish flies down to very tiny, tiny dry flies, um, but I currently live in the Midlands, um, so most of the fishing I do is uh, small stream, upper berg streams. So I would have to say, if I have to put my finger on it, uh, dry flies is my favorite at the moment. Okay. So I fish, fish mainly, mainly small dry flies. Um, yeah, and I love tying them, it's great, good fun. And just as comfortable in the salt water? Uh, just as comfortable, I don't get down to, the, down to the salt as often as I would like anymore. I'm actually a marine biologist by training. Okay. Um, so, so believe it or not, my first rig, rig that I bought was actually a saltwater salt water rig. Yes. And my first flies that I tied were all saltwater flies. Um, but at that stage, I was living in uh, Peter Maritzburg, so the salt was a was a bit more closer, closer a bit more, bit more accessible at the time. Yes. Um, now, now I live up, live up in Nottingham Road, and the Midlands, so the streams, streams, and the trout, trout are more closer. Um, but yeah, when I go down to salt, I was recently down, down, down for a week at the salt, and I took a seven weight and a rig, and I managed to get a couple of species there, there as well on. Self, self tied flies. It's something I must really give a go. Yeah, I know, it's good fun. And KZN, why KZN? What makes KZN such an awesome fly fishing destination? Well, I mean, there, again, there's a, there's a classic line the berg and the beach. And you know, basically sitting in the Midlands, you've got everything. You've got the beach, which is relatively close by. So for your, so for your saltwater fly fishing, and the berg, obviously the streams, and then the Midlands for all the trout dams for the, for the still waters. So we've got, we've got everything right here on our doorstep, really. It's, it's fantastic, the best place to be. There is a variety of species, really. Eh? Variety of species from all your salt water, all your all your fresh water, fish, fish, um, trout. Trout first and foremost, obviously, of course, is your is your main uh, main uh, quarry on fly. But I mean, the game is opening up. Lots of guys. I tackle bass on fly. I do I do scalies, yellowfish as well. Everything. I throw fly at every fin 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 species. Now, Jan, if you can give some advice to any newcomer or someone interested into entering the fly fishing market, what would that be? I think basically the bottom line is, is just to ask questions, really. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. If you don't know, you need an answer, you know. And I'm kind of like a little bit more self-taught. I was also a little bit, you know, don't want to ask questions, etc. and look, look, look perhaps a bit stupid. 
but there's no such thing as a stupid question as I said. So find yourself a mentor, join a club, um, you know, and uh, yeah, just ask questions, ask the guy in the shop, me, me, I'm here in the Fish Eagle, so come and ask me. And that is very valuable information Jan just gave now. The quickest way you can get any fishing or facet of fishing underhand is exactly that. We learn it in every type of fishing. I think in most sport, uh, the guys feel they might be too old to ask silly questions or beginner questions, and that's the biggest mistake you can make. But one more thing, Jan. Now I'm going to ask you, we have to make a date where we come through and yeah. you're going to show us some of the, the spots and the, the type of fishing you do. And I would love to see how it all happens. Certainly. Well, I look forward to it. It would be great. Yeah. Perfect. And we'll keep you guys in the loop when we come and visit Jan. And then we'll go out on a little excursion and pull some other guys with. Brilliant. And see what we can, can bring to the, to the hook or to the fly. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Look forward to it, guys. Super. Guys, make sure you visit the Fish Eagle and come see Jan for any fly fishing advice in the area. KZN, saltwater and freshwater. Guys, we can't leave the store and Jan without him giving us some hints and tips on what to use for this holiday season and what's happening in KZN. Over to Jan. Summer, summer in Natal is basically river fishing. Um, your surface water temperatures and your still waters tend to start, start tending to get a bit warm. Um, and obviously the uh, river season opened on the 1st of September. And a really popular, popular outfit with us has been the, the new Daiwa Wilderness range of rods, four piece rods, comes in a, comes in a tube and a sock, um, very, very attractively priced, it's a seven foot nine, four piece, three weight. Uh, what we do is we pair that with a, a Wilderness 100 um, series reel, it's a very nice simple click and pull, click and pull reel and a Snowbee three weight, three weight floating line. We have the, we have the flies and the leaders and everything in the shop and you're good to go. My choice of choice of flies, as you will have seen seen maybe in the previous section, is that I'm primarily a dry fly guy. So I choose to fish primarily dry flies on the small streams. And I'm starting with a parachute mayfly, an LK caddis, a rab, a rubber leg stimulator, and a royal wolf. And that would be my first choice in the top five dry flies. Guys please check on the check on the internet. We have a we have a Fish Eagle Facebook page. We welcome welcome all your photographs of your of your fishing and your exploits. So please send us your pictures pictures and your images and we are quite happy to load them up onto our page as your as your own personalized break book.